you pull that cord, the train will stop and EMTs will be dispatched and the train will be on hold for a very long time. So please don't pull that cord unless you have a medical emergency. Also, please remain seated and keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times. Well, howdy, folks. This thing on, I said howdy, folks. That's more like it. Now you're a little bit more awake. Well, I'm Conductor Brian back here at the back of the train, and I want to be the first one to welcome you to the Silver Dollar City Fresco Line. That's Conductor Steve waving us out. Everybody say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. We'll see him about a week or so, maybe a month. It's always give or take with this train. Hope you packed your luggage. Now, as we're exiting the depot on your left hand side, you're going to be seeing Half Dollar Holler. That's a great place to take the kiddos and run off some energy. And parents, there's some tough things there for you, too. It's called pensions. And right next door to that is Bears at the Holler. Great place to go to get yourself a bear for the ride home. If you don't get a bear for the ride home, well, that's just unbearable. Now, for the gentlemen on this here train, there's a two story green building you're going to be very interested in. It is home to some of the longest and most beautiful legs you'll ever see. And the saloon girls aren't too bad either. So go on over to the Dollar City Saloon and get yourself a nice root beer float. And bring one back for me. I get really parched back here at the back of the train. And right next door to the saloon is one of the oldest rides here on the park. Everybody say it Fire in the Hole! Yeah, those nasty ball numbers that try to, decided to try and burn down half of our town. So the fire chief is looking for volunteers to help put the fire out. Everybody say it, fire in the hole. Alright, right next door to that folks, is old Wilson's farm. Yeah, old farmer Wilson decided to Brother David! Big old farm. Big old farm. There ain't no chickens in that barn. Now, as some of you folks got on my train, you had a worried look on your face. You're probably wondering about the brakes on this old train. Well, worry no more. We have some of the best brakes the money can buy. And they're on back order. They'll be here next week. Everybody throw your hands up in the air and go, Wee! Now you know the emergency procedure if those brakes decide to fail. Of course, you can always just hit that black button at your feet. Made you look. Now we're coming up on our big coaster here on park. That's right, that's powder keg, our mechanic coaster. This thing will shoot you out from zero to breathless in about two heartbeats. Yeah, at least that's what I remember before I passed out. Twice. Don't tell anybody. Next door to Powder Keg is that one you guys always win. Yeah, that's our wooden coaster here on Park. And what's really unique and interesting about Outlaw Run is, uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to tell you about that later. Because um, I just got word back from the depot that Alfie and Ralphie Bowen have escaped from jail again. Everybody say, oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, they're out running around in these woods. Those nasty train robbers. So keep an eye out for them. Now we're coming up on the engineer's favorite spot on this little ride. It's Moonshine Stump. Yeah, there's a local moonshiner who decides to, you know, live out here and make himself through every once in a while. And he leaves a sample of his best stuff out there on the stump for people to try. But if you do decide to get yourself some, remember, that stuff's called frog water for a reason. Well, at least that's what my granddad used to call it. He used to say, one slip, and you're in the half Two slips, you're turning green. And three slips, you're croaking. Sorry, I got a little bit of a frog in my throat there, folks. Now I want to remind everybody to keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times because we are in rattlesnake country. Why, well, just the other day there was a 97 rattle-headed copper box that decided to grab a lady by the arm and take her off into the woods and she's never been seen again. You can find her husband easily enough though, he's at the Silver Dollar City Saloon every night. 
and find a drink for everybody and saying half the days are here again. If we could just get them to stop crying on the shoulder of that smooth roll up. Now as we're coming around the bench, folks, you're going to see the only tragedy here on the Frisco line, the wreck of Engine 82. One of our engineers, old Eli like Q Peabody, decided he was going to take the corner just a little too fast. And well, you guessed it, made a big old mess. But don't worry about it, Bob, though. We dug through the wreckage, found it safe and sound. Gave him a new shirt and a bath. Gave him a big old jug of moonshine. And well, you can guess who's up there driving your train right now. That's right, old Ichabod. Hey, Ichabod, if you're up there nice and sober, give us three cents on that horn. Well, oh, brother, I said three cents, Ichabod. Well, the old boy never could count. I guess there's just three types of people in this world. The people that can count and those that don't. Congratulations, you are now entering Pottersville, population four. Congratulations, you're exiting Pottersville, population three. The dog ran away, dog on it. Hey, come on, what's going on up there? This ain't a scheduled stop. Well, it looks like somebody's up there flagging our train down. Oh no, talk about a couple of snakes. Alfie and Ralphie Bowen. Let's try and scare them off, folks. Everybody look at them and say, ugly. Well, that would scare them mouse off and some cheese. And I said, everybody look at them and say, ugly. Ugly. Did you hear that? They just called it ugly. I heard that. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ugly. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> what about the red stuff? Did we set up? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Now, hey, wait a minute. Now, 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 anyway, that's the plan. You get back down. 
Collar Dome system up here. Collar what? Up here. Okay. Hey, up here. I don't like that. Hi, up here. <laughs> that's not what I meant, but that's what you said. You know what, Ralphie, you were about that close to an idiot. I did not know that. Oh, <laughs> 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 <sighs> right. that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, what's going on up here? <laughs> what's going on up here? Yeah. I just came all the way back from that tunnel. I didn't see any Yankees. No, no Yankees. Yankees! I come back here and you two are robbing my train. <laughs> well, now, we're real sorry about that. Well, don't tell me you're sorry. You tell them you're sorry. Ralph, you tell them you're sorry. Okay, you're sorry. <laughs> How was that? That was terrible. I thought you was going to be sorry. You two. I'm going to count to three, and I'm shooting me a train robber. Yeah, don't worry about it. He can't got that eye. Last time he counted to three, he didn't make it past five. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, guess what? I've been practicing. Okay. One. Yeah, you're off to a good start. Two. He's skipping numbers, Ralph. Time to <laughs> Three. Seven and a half. Gee, I wonder where Ralph is. He I can don't see know. Him. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, yeah. I can still see party. really hard out here for not much sense at all. Did you Oh boy, we barely escaped with our minds on that one, folks. If y'all are enjoying yourself, give me an old-fashioned yee-haw. That's what I like to hear. Well, if y'all are enjoying yourself and you buy yourself a big ticket, be sure to take that up front and get it converted to a season pass for just a few dollars more. That way you can come back and see my beautiful face all year long. Now, I told you I was going to tell you more about Outlaw Run, and as we started this little journey, it was out on, it was over on our right-hand side. Well, <laughs> doggone that coaster, it's so fast, now it's on your left-hand side. I can never figure out how it does that. What makes it so unique is by the fact that it is a wooden coaster that can take you upside down not once, not twice, but three times. One of the only ones in the world that does that. Ugh, makes me dizzy just thinking about it. Now folks, we're approaching Sweet Mary's Tunnel, so I want to remind everybody to keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times and remain seated. I also want to take this time to thank our veterans. You know, we live in a beautiful and free country, and it's all thanks to their sacrifice. So just keep them in your thoughts and minds as they're overseas fighting for our freedoms and our rights. Hey, Ichabod, that sounded pretty good on that there horn. Why don't you give us a couple more just for good measure? What do you say? A lot? Two more suits? That's the stuff right there. Now folks, we're going to be stopping for a little bit just because uh, Ichabod gets really hot up there in front of the engine. So he needs to take a little bit of a lunch break. Everybody give Ichabod a round of applause. We'll be underway here in just a moment. And here we go, folks. Now everybody be sure to look back behind you and breathe real hard and blow so we can get up this hill. The power of street steam, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody wave a dick about as we go by. Bye, Ichabod. Now he's standing in front of a red building right now. That there's our roundhouse where we like to clean and maintain our engines and engineers. 
One thing you'll notice about our roundhouse, it's square. We don't like to cut corners here, so we don't like to do And right across the track from that, well, that's the fence. Silver Dollar City, Bristol Live. Oh. 